Hi there, this is Chris Chupnikat, Motor Legends. Today I want to talk to you about a trend that we have witnessed in the motorcycle apparel market, which is a propensity for people to wear a technical textile jacket, but without the matching pants, and normally to match that jacket with a pair of jeans or perhaps a pair of chinos. Let me make it clear, I'm not talking about one piece leathers here. They've been on their way out for a while now. As the world has moved on from sports bikes, far few people are buying leather suits these days. Leather obviously is still the only option on track and some old timers still don't feel protected wearing anything other than leather. But most people these days seem to accept that strapping a cow to your back is not the most comfortable way to ride a bike, especially when it's really hot, it's really cold or really wet. Rather, what I'm talking about today is an increasing propensity for riders to discard the trousers that form the lower half of their textile suit and to wear the jacket over or above a pair of protective jeans or chinos. Now, it may be that this has been going on for years, but recently we've been struck by the number of people in the shop who turn up wearing something like a Rucker jacket or a Halvarsons jacket without the matching lower half. And so we decided to check our sales over the last year or two. And it does seem to be a trend that people are buying a waterproof jacket without the designated pants. Now, at first our thought was, it's a bit strange and illogical to go with a waterproof top half and a non-waterproof bottom half. But having discussed the matter with customers and having given the matter a little bit further thought, we can see that for some people, it just makes perfect sense. A technical jacket offers protection, obviously, in the event of an accident, but it will also provide protection from the elements. So when it's warm, a good technical jacket will help you stay cool. When it's cold, it will help keep you warm. And when it's wet, obviously, a technical jacket should help keep you dry. It's particularly important, obviously, to keep our core warm when we're riding, because it's the core that controls the temperature of the rest of the rest of the body. And a good textile jacket will make sure that that happens. But when you get to your destination, it could be a relief to remove the jacket. Now you may have a shirt, t-shirt, a fleece, or some other layer beneath the outer jacket. But when you take your outer jacket off, you can then go about your business far more freely. Motorcycle jackets, let's face it, can be somewhat beast-like. What with their protective fabrics, the armour, the back protector, membrane, liners and so on. And so it can be nice just to unburden yourself when you reach your destination. The problem, of course, is that it's not so easy with what might be an equally cumbersome textile pant. That is unless, of course, you are happy to walk around in your leggings or your underpants. The fact is, if you leave the house on a Sunday morning wearing a pair of textile motorcycle pants to go for a ride with your mates, you're gonna be stuck in those pants until you come home later in the day. So you have to go out for breakfast in them, you'll have to visit the bike shop in them, have lunch in them, wear them for the bike meeting, wear them for whatever walk you're going on, or indeed, whatever. Textile pants are designed solely for riding in. With their big heavy armor, they were never produced with mobility in mind. Now, clearly the increased wearability of protective jeans has played a part in the move away from traditional textile pants. Modern single layer jeans are just so nice to wear. They can be so much more protective than a textile pant, yet when you get off the bike, they wear just like, I don't know, a pair of Levi's. So if you're wearing a pair of jeans when you get somewhere, you can simply take your textile jacket off and wander around totally unencumbered. In principle, you're gonna be just as comfortable as the guy who turned up at the same location in his car. There are two problems with jeans. The first, obviously, is that jeans are usually not waterproof. And so one of the issues is, is that jeans are particularly useless in the rain. Now, being British, we obsess about the weather, which is why so many bikers have convinced themselves that they cannot possibly leave the house unless they are fully prepared for the hurricane that clearly lurks just around the corner. But the truth is that it simply does not rain every day. In the UK, it rains just 150 days a year, 150 out of 365. In the summer, that ratio reduces to one day in three. Now, most bikers, certainly most weekend bikers, try to avoid the rain. Open the curtains on a Sunday morning, it's raining. They close the curtains, go back up to bed, they don't go out on the bike. So the reality is, for most weekend riders, rain is a factor in probably less, in, less than one in 10 of their rides. So always wearing, a waterproof trouser 
for most of us is simply not necessary. It simply does not make sense to wear gear for what probably won't happen. Best therefore, best surely, to wear something far more comfortable on the basis that it probably won't rain. The good news is that there's a simple solution for the terrifying prospect that it might rain. You just carry with you a set of waterproof trousers, something like this, the Scots, they're brilliant. They take seconds to put on, and when you're wearing them, you create a solution that's actually better than, say, a laminated pant from someone like Rucker. The second problem with jeans, and I'm talking about single layer jeans here because truthfully, they're the only ones that you really want, is that whilst they are lovely and cooling in warm weather, they can become a little bit too cool when the temperature drops. Now, not everybody realizes that the waterproof membrane in a textile jacket or a textile trouser does two things. First, obviously it keeps the rain off, but also it protects you from the effects of wind chill, so it insulates you and stops you getting cold. Unfortunately, most jeans just don't have a waterproof membrane. So our legs can get a little bit cold, but the truth is that it's more important, as we've discussed, to keep our core warm. In some ways, our legs kind of come along for the ride. Sometimes, obviously, our legs are protected by a tank or the fairing of a bike, and sometimes by the heat of the engine. But there are some simple workarounds. Some thin merino leggings will obviously help, and in extreme conditions, you just put a set of Scott waterproofs over, and they will act as a windproof barrier. Clearly there are many people for whom the traditional textile suit with a matching top and bottom half is going to be the way to go. If you ride big miles all winter and in all weathers, you're not going to want to wear jeans. Ditto if you have a long daily commute because nobody's going to want to stop on their way into work to change and put a pair of waterproofs on. But jeans are much nicer to ride in on the bike and certainly much nicer to walk around in off the bike than a traditional textile motorcycle pant. Now the truth is that a textile jacket is also rarely going to be comfortable, but we accept this level of discomfort because of the protection such a jacket offers us, both in terms of physical impacts if we come off the bike and in terms of protection from the elements. But the saving grace of a jacket is that you can take it off when you reach your destination. It takes just a few seconds, you take it off, you put it in a panny, you put it in a top box and you're good to go. You simply cannot however do the same with a pair of textile pants. So, if you go out at the weekend, you put on a pair of textile pants in the morning and you're stuck in them all day. But they're not nice to ride in, not nice to walk around in, and that can ruin any day out. And so it perhaps should not surprise us that so many motorcyclists seem keen to discard the lower half, the textile pants that came with their suits, and to wear jeans instead. In fact, this trend seems to make so much sense, we really should perhaps have spotted it much sooner.